Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing season one of Daredevil. Now I really enjoyed this and I have to say I've never been a Daredevil fan, but now I am a Daredevil fan and man, he's so badass, dude. And you know, I've always thought like based off of the old movie that I saw of Daredevil, man, Daredevil is lame. He's just this blind dude. He's kind of just going around beating up people, vigilante or whatever, really lame character. But after watching this, Marvel portrayed him fantastically. I mean, he's really like just a normal guy, but he has some crazy senses. Um, and he gets hurt all the time. He's always bruised. He's always bleeding, you know. Um, you know, there's always a woman who has to patch him up. And he, he just really shows that he, he, he could be like us, but of course he has another sense that we don't have. I loved the acting from this character. I don't know his name, but I absolutely loved him. I loved all the characters around him, his best friend, uh, this other female friend he has, and I mean, the bad guy, the kingpin guy, he's so crazy. And I gotta say, Daredevil for me started off very poorly. I heard phenomenal things about it. And the first couple episodes, I almost quit, man, because it just was not intriguing to me. But I mean, I think after like the third or fourth episode, I was hooked like a fish. Like this show is too good, man. This is probably the best TV show I've seen in a long time since like Game of Thrones. And I have to say, man, I'm really, really excited for season two. Um, fortunately enough, I saw season two or saw season one late enough that season two is right around the corner. So I don't have to wait much longer. That's a great feeling, man, because there's nothing worse than having to wait like six months or a year or something for a new episode. I mean, in this scene right here, Daredevil is just whooping ass. It's kind of crazy, like he can sense or, or he can feel or hear where you're about to shoot or punch him at. And you know, he's not doing any, any superpower stuff, which again, in the beginning, I thought that was kind of weird, kind of stupid and kind of lame of his character, but now I really, really appreciate it. I mean, there's tons of superheroes out there and uh, he's like kind of Marvel's version of, of Batman, but not exactly story-wise or anything, but, but in the sense that he's just uh, a human. You know what I mean? I like that. He's not just, he doesn't have superpowers. He can't do anything too extraordinary. But, but then, you know, he's still beating up some really cool guys, some really challenging things. And uh, man, I, I really enjoy that, that Daredevil is dark. I really love dark characters. I love that evil. I love that kind of, uh, you know, not just cliche, pow pow kick and you know they have no backbone like daredevil is a badass man and he's not just a hero like he really likes doing this he likes or enjoys beating up on people like i mean if he could handle the situation just by talking to the guy he'll go ahead and break his arm or something like daredevil is a badass man and he loves it throughout the whole season you're gonna find out and you're gonna figure out hey man daredevil loves to whoop on people's ass i mean that's just who he is and he says and he admits it yeah i love beating up people i don't just do it to be a hero i do it because i get enjoyment from this i i like kicking some ass you know what i mean i don't know if it's because he feels like he's missing something because he's blind or how he was trained but you really would want to watch Daredevil. I suggest it to anybody. Even my wife likes it, which is extremely rare. My wife is not big on anything superhero or uh, you know anything that's kind of sci-fi or anything that's fiction. We'll say fiction in general, but my wife really liked this, man. And uh, I felt like she was on the hook just like me. She gave it an eight out of 10, which I'm telling you, man, getting an eight out of 10 from her is, whew, that's pretty hard to do, so. All in all, man, Daredevil was so badass. I don't want to ruin it too much for you. I just want you to know this is an absolute must-see. Um, I am extremely impressed by Marvel. I'm so happy with what they've done. I feel like they've really perfected this character, Daredevil. And man, I just want to go back and I want to keep seeing what they do with Daredevil. I want to see, you know, and I want to invest into his comic books now. Like, I'm, I'm honestly very excited for what's going to come out and uh, i'm going to look further into daredevil and he's going to he probably already is you know somebody that i would consider one of my favorite characters now he's in the top 10 for me easily um i'm just so happy what they've done marvel is just doing great things man you know ever since they got with disney they, i really feel like they've even improved higher than they already were and it is so beautiful man it's it's just the best tv show currently that i've seen and i would suggest it to anybody any age whatever you're into, check out Daredevil. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And make sure to watch my videos to the end. You know, leaving a comment really helps out my YouTube rating, and I appreciate all of you. We've got over 100 subs now, so I'm very thankful for that. And I appreciate every one of you. All of you are so great to me. So thank you so much for watching my video to the end, and take care. Peace out, everybody.